this tutorial we're going to use the change to color effect now you know that we've been working through this footage we've got a vignette on here to take out the blinding whiteness of this particular area we've done some color correction work before and we've ended up just moving things around till we get to the point where we have got two layers the ordinary layer at the bottom which has just been decolorized or just just taken to black and white by using the leave color effect but without any selection of color and then the layer above the layer in the middle which is the only layer I'm going to leave on so I just select just the middle one to show you this is the layer that we've been working on which has got the leave color effect on it which we've already used and we've set up where we have just left that color and desaturated or tried to desaturate everything else around it you'll see actually in the background a couple of bits and pieces have still got a little bit of color in them and had we got a 16 point garbage mat as opposed to a 4 point garbage mat we may have been able to get an awful lot closer around this particular item but I used the four point garbage mat to mat out what we're looking at because it's a lot quicker but I might have done on a real world basis use a 16 point but anyway we've got this one item and we've left that color and everything else has been desaturated and the layer underneath we'd also added leave color but what we've done is we've taken the tolerance to zero which means there was no color everything was desaturated okay so we've used leave color but now what we can do is we can use the change to color to change the color of our teapot so if I go to effects I've typed in the word change and you'll see that we've got an effect we've got change color but change to color is the one that we're going to use and this time I'm going to click and drag and drop it on the layer that I want to have it on just to make sure it's in the right place let go I could have double clicked with it selected but sometimes you're not sure you've got the right one selected it's better just to drag and drop then I can go to my effects controls and here is the effect and it's actually very simple to use I'm going what color am I starting with and what color am I going to now you can click these color swatches to select a color to start off with but actually in a piece of video you actually can see the color you want to start off with so you can just take the color picker and go and say this is the color that I want to leave and that's selected and then the next one is as simple as saying okay what color do I want it to become now I can choose a color swatch if I want and choose a color or I could just pick a color in my scene which is what I'm going to do I think I'll use the uh, color of this video bar over here so select that go down and click on it and there it is it's changed that color now we're just looking notice at hue but you can also look at hue and lightness hue and saturation hue lightness and saturation so there's an awful lot you can change with this effect also there are different ways of changing it there are two of them setting to color and transforming to color which use different color methods to achieve the effect what I suggest you do is you play with them and see which one's going to give you the best result when you're working on your footage but what's pretty important is that you have an item that stands out and is easy to select and change I'm going to just show you this same effect on the same piece of footage but without this four point garbage mat which has just matted out what we wanted because the end result we've got here now with the garbage mat and the original footage underneath and with the vignette is pretty good but if you remember in the original footage we did actually have all kinds of red in the books and bits and pieces around here okay so there will be problems when we move with the original footage unless we've got the item really clearly masked out by using that four point garbage mat so let me just take you to the same footage in a new sequence here is the same footage that's about the same place as well and you can see that there's lots of red in the background here so with that piece of footage selected I'm going to go back to my effects and choose change to color double click to apply because it's the only layer I've got go to effects controls and do the same thing so I want to go from that color to I'm going to say that color just there incidentally if you want to get a wider selection of color when you're choosing one of these you select it and you hold the control key on a PC the command key on a Mac the picker goes much bigger and takes a 5x5 five five sample rather than a one pixel sample so if I'm going over this one here I can take a 5x5 five five sample and click on it and you'll see it's done the job but notice also that his ears blue his lips blue there's blue in the book there's blue ties really blue there's blue here here everywhere so what's happened is all of the red in the whole scene has been taken over and changed to blue so that's why you would use a garbage mat to actually mask out the area that you want to affect alone as opposed to having the whole scene looking fairly weird like this 
If you have a scene which has got one item that's a specific colour and you want to change it, then you can change that one item and it's going to look great. But if you've got a piece of footage like this, then you really do need to do what we did in the original one, if I click back on that one, is use a garbage mat around the piece that you want to do and have that on a separate layer. So I took the bottom layer and duplicated it and put it above, and that's how you can make sure it only affects the bit that you want it to affect, because you've duplicated your footage and the top bit has masked out only what you want to see and change.